Hello everyone, this is AB Creative. I hope you are good. Today we are painting a beautiful dove that's going to just fly right off the canvas. We're going to be using the swipe technique and having lots of fun along the way. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Now what's today's plan? I bought a longer canvas. So this is my longer canvas for today. It's 50 centimeters by 20 or if you think inches that will be roughly 20 by 8 and my plan is to paint a dove today. So what I'm doing now I'm preparing myself a stencil so I'm sketching a dove and I'm going to cut cut her out. Now what do you do when you don't have a stencil? Uh, there are plenty of images online and I actually looked at some examples. So I've been looking at some pictures of dove. This is my inspiration. Uh, please make sure that if you are going to use an image from the internet that it's royalty free, unless well, you want to buy it. And then you can trace it directly from your device using tracing paper or tissue paper. So I'm going to cut my stencil out and then we move to the next stage. Well, I can assure you that this cutting out, which actually took me so far two minutes, is the hardest part of this painting today. So it's really, it's going to be really easy. Just a bit of, bit of cutting. So I managed to cut the bird out and I actually have got another template so I'm going to keep it for later I'm just I cut it here accidentally so I am putting a sellotape and I am going to preserve the image in case I want to do something else and I just want to paint the bird in different colors which might be very useful. I do keep all my old templates like for example from the ladies series I've got the template of her face so if I do another sister and I am going to do one soon I am going to use the same face so I'm putting this away and this is what we are going to use so I'm going to peel it off stick the bird which actually will go this way so if you wanted the image on the same side you should have drawn it the back of your tracing paper or frisket paper in my case by the way, there's a link in my description to all the materials I use if you want to use it as well. So my bird is going to be flying this way. Okay, so I'm ready to stick her, stick her on. That's a nice position. This canvas is pretty deep. What I'm going to do, I'm going to flick it over and make sure that my template adheres to the to the surface really really well these are the colors we're going to use today one of my favorite colors of all time which is Payne's gray but we've got titanium white as well pearl lilac cobalt blue and rose i actually don't use enough of this color the last time i used it for the background was in my uh, poppies painting you can check it over there. So that's it, not many colors. Paints create a really beautiful color as I mentioned before, but it's quite dark. It's actually really dark once it gets dry, it's almost black. So I've added some white and now I'm going to mix it with my gray. Let's start with a smaller amount first. Well, for those of you who don't know me yet, uh, I really like these jars from yogurts that I love. And I basically reuse everything I find. See, you get like a beautiful greyish blue colour. Or maybe, just maybe, we'll start with a bit of lighter colour and then it's going to get darker. Yes, I think I'm going to do it. I do like sort of gradation of colour, as you probably noticed. <laughs> Mixing and in a minute I'm going to add my pouring medium, which in this case will be this will be one third of paint, probably two thirds of floatrol, and then I just add water if I need to add some more water. Now, before I add any pouring medium, I am going to actually use this paint, undiluted, a soft brush. I'm going to touch the edge of my dove just because I don't want any paint to be seeping underneath. I think it helps. Well, I don't know what your experience is, but I think it does help. The idea is that this paint will kind of seal the very, very edge. This is the flow tool that I use. That's what we get in Britain. And as you can see, I'm kind of, I, I use this as a strainer. I don't want any blobs inside. So as I said, 
probably two thirds of my paint. I often use PVA glue diluted with water as well, but at the moment I don't have it. So this is what we are going to use today. Mix it really well. Can you see how much lighter paint spray looks uh, before it dries? It's a big difference actually. But using some water, just spraying and mixing till it runs off really nicely and smoothly. I'm covering the first section with the lightest grey and I'm going to use my palette knife to spread it nicely. I'll do the edges later and now I'm going to add the darker one. I'm trying to blend the shades a bit more. Okay and all this section is going to be darkened. I just roughly want to see where my where my wings are. You've seen a minute why. And I do want a bit of darker paints grey. Might add just to the very bottom. Before we get further into creating this awesome piece, I would like to thank the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives like us. With thousands of inspiring classes on topics like design, photography, art, freelancing and more, Skillshare classes include video lessons and class projects that are made to fit your schedule. That's something I've been working on improving, so I've been taking the class Start Your Creative Career by Sonia Rasula. She breaks down how to turn your creative passion into a working business with actionable strategies. It's super important to think of yourself as a business, not just an artist or creative. Starting an editorial calendar to keep track of what I need to post and when has been a real game changer for me. The first 1000 people who use the link in my description will receive a month free trial of Skillshare Premium. And you have access to every single class on their platform. They are always creating new classes and have no ads so you can stay focused and learn. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and directly helping to support my channel. You can too by clicking the link in the description. Well, this is going to be a swipe, so now it's time to spread some colors. Fortunately, I can just about see where the wings are. So I'm just going to layer some of my colors. Can be totally random. I definitely want a lot of blue, now a bit of rose, maybe not too much, and a bit of lilac. I had this idea when I woke up this morning and I wanted to check if a dove like this has been done before, and I don't think it has. The closest I've seen are some pieces by the lovely Crafty Jen, who pioneered the swipe and stencil technique, so you can check her out, uh, link in the description. A really small amount of this blue. I, this is quite dark, so I don't want much of it. And I think my last color will be silver. Silver should look really nice in gray background. And I am going to swipe with white, if I didn't tell you that yet. Do I need to add anything more? Maybe slightly. Just drizzle the blue here. It's probably more than enough. At the moment it looks like this. Now this is my white paint and I've decided to add one drop of silicone. In this case it's coconut hair serum, not coconut oil, coconut hair serum. Just one drop. There you go. And I'll mix it really well. Okay, we are ready for the swipe. So I'm going to layer my white paint. This one, as you've seen with silicon, ready for the swipe. I'm actually layering where the bird was, where the wings were. That's it. And now I'm going to use paper towel. So spray my towel with water. It doesn't have to be soaking wet, just a bit of water. I'm preparing the second one. Okay, ready for swiping.
So you can see the plan was just to drag it down. I actually quite like those broken bits here. I need much thinner one. I don't want to destroy the previous work. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. I'll just swipe this one with a very, very thin one. It's incredible when you imagine something and then it actually works out pretty well. Might dip it in some colour. Just to add a bit of, of interest here. Yay, that's what I wanted. Okay, I'm very, very happy at the moment. Well, I've done something that I wouldn't recommend to anybody. I actually peeled it off when it was completely wet. Only because I'm in, in a hurry. That's the only reason. Otherwise, I would wait two days for it to get dry. At the moment, I have to clean up the mess here. Well, well hopefully it's going to still work. You know, when you when you have to upload the video on a, on a certain day and you are very busy for the rest of the week, that, that's what may happen. But it's going to work. I can do it. The paint seems to hold, you know, all the rest of the sections, which is awesome. It's actually not too bad at all. But I do love the really sort of beautiful lacing coming from his tail and from his wings. I hope you like it too. Uh, the painting is dry now and what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill the dove just with titanium white. Nice and even, spreading the paint. This is not my mix. This is undiluted Arteza paint. And I might cover it again. Once this layer is dry, I might add another layer of white and that will be the end of it. And I'll take you for a close up. So I'm using a flat brush on the bigger sections, on the wider sections and very small brush just to get to some tiny corners. And now let's take a look at the finished piece. the video and if you did don't forget to press like and subscribe to my channel big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video don't forget about the one month free offer you'll find the link in my description and also please join me every Saturday when my new videos premiere and then we can have a nice chat live thank you so much for watching bye bye